Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you um, part six of our key pattern triggering tutorial. Um, in this uh, tutorial, what I wanted to show you was this song that I put together and the whole thing is contained in this um, in this patch, in this um, combinator patch called the One Finger Band and it's latched. So what that means is we've set up everything inside the combinator. You have the Dr. Octorex loop player um, you have a Kong device for your main drums. Then you've got um, four patterns or four triggers from Thor and then four patterns from Thor that are playing the bass which is um, inside a subtractor. Then you've also got um, some bass FX that can be triggered by a single key. You've also got um, another f set of four patterns that are playing two pads at the same time down here two different Thor pads and then you've got another set of four different synth patterns that are playing a Thor synth and underneath that finally we've got four rhythm patterns that are playing another Thor and then as well we've also got um, another set of effects that can be applied to the synth by the trigger of a key and the way that the um, the way that the combinator is set up if you look at it what we're doing is on the looper, on the loop player, it's already set up from key D sharp 0 to B0 and that's going to be your looper. Um, if you play the key of I believe it is E0, um, that's going to stop your loop so you can start it using the other keys and that'll trigger the notes to slot for the eight different loop um, uh, loop variable uh, rex files and also E0 will actually stop it then you've got the Kong which is already set up on key C1 to D sharp 2 and then you've got your bases which are set up on these five triggers um, E2, F2, F sharp 2 and G2 will play the patterns and then you can switch um, to playing it either with effects or not with effects using the G sharp 2 key and the same thing for um, all the other all the other um, elements like the pads are on these four keys and then you've got um, if you move up a little bit then you've got the synths that are being played by keys and then you've got the rhythm that are being set by keys so when you press the key down it's gonna play the pattern when you lift the key up it's gonna stop playing the pattern so um, I also made a different change with the bass direction the pad direction the synth direction which if you look over here what's happening is essentially you're playing all of the instruments within one combinator so it's the notes that are actually playing the triggers so the keys uh, when you play one key it's going to start it when you play the other key it's going to stop it so this is how we've we've set up the whole song and then of course you've got the buttons that this changes the bass direction it'll change this bass line direction then the pads will change this pad direction the synths will change these two synth clips change their directions so I'll play it through and and we'll listen to how it sounds um, but before I do that I did want to show you the way that we've set up the CV routing for this. Um, it looks a little complex but really what we've done is we've sent these four triggers are triggering the patterns for the other four Thors. So you have eight Thors in total. And then what I'm doing is I'm routing um, the notes and the bass. Actually you could probably see it better down here. Okay so this is triggering. Okay so this is your rhythm section and it's triggering all of the patterns are being sent through a spider CV merger. Um, you've got the note CV over here and you've got the uh, gate CV over here and then that's going in and triggering the actual rhythm section. When you do this though, this method requires that you attenuate these CV inputs, the, the note inputs, because they're all going to be combined and that can tend to shift your, your notes upward in pitch so you have to move the trim knobs down to get it back to the correct pitch and just note that um, what's happening is you have three different areas that are triggering your pitch you have these CV knobs that are triggering your pitch you also have the pattern section itself on the other side um, the pattern here what you input here is also affecting your pitch and then of course inside the 
um, inside this, the rhythm synth itself, what's happening is you can change your pitch using the oscillator section um, for for this uh, for this device. So I'm going to play it through, and then you can kind of hear what's going on, and uh, then you can comment on my blog at reason101.net and tell me what you think. So here's the whole file being played. your snare and your kick coming in. You've also got your rhythm section here. Tom and your hi-hats. Then your rim shots along with the hi-hats. They're alternating. A little bit of effects. And then our drum loop will kick in. line kicks in. kind of repeat themselves. And now this is our bass effects that's going to kick in. Playing one key, you've got the effects switch. And the rhythm effects over here is really where things start to pick up. rhythm effects is going to affect this. And as this is playing, all the directions are changing for those various devices. So that's pretty much the way that it works. Um, what have we learned from this? Well, <laughs> basically that you can build an entire song inside a combinator, but the other really nice thing is that since everything is on um, a single keyboard, you can set up one single keyboard controller to control your entire song, um, and you can use this method to use as a template. Um, what you can do is you can go in, you can change your loops around, you can change to a completely different um, Kong patch, you can also uh, switch out all your sound sources and all the routing stays the same pretty much. Um, 
so you can use this as a template to switch out your sounds you can also change all the patterns inside all of these Thor devices to any pattern you like to control your song as well and hopefully that gives you some new ideas and for some new creative thoughts on uh, on how to use Reason. Once again, I'm Rob, and this patch will be made available on my site when the tutorial goes live, which uh, should be today, hopefully. So uh, come back, visit me, and uh, you can have this patch for free. Thanks a lot for watching.